5 o'clock, call the meeting to order. Assuming Carrie's ready. I am. Okay. Thank you. Uh, first item, we want to approve the minutes. Did you get a chance to go through? Yep. So I only had one thing, Carrie already made the change. It was just a sentence got left off. Okay. From one of the motions. So. I will make a motion to uh, approve the minutes of May 20th. I will second. Um, for that directions. Aye. Aye. Thank you. The okay, warrants are signed. Um, I did have a question. We bought a trench roll box. Yeah, well, that was, they ordered it and then it, it like months ago. Okay. And then just due to bad luck, it came in, you know, when they're telling us that we're. Okay, it wasn't like it was something you grabbed because of that break or something. Like that. No, no. Something it we had. It, we, we, it's it was, a box that they've seen East Bridgewater use. Yeah. And they feel that they can use that better than the other one we have. I haven't seen them take it out, but they have to do one. There's a hydrant beside a pole that's been waiting for more than a year and a half, so they want to use it there. And we have to go out onto 106 to replace that hydrant in the senior center, so yeah. where we're extremely visible. No, it keeps them safe and working and yeah. makes the hole small. It just, they all, the things on this pallet out there, I'm like, all right, it, it's like an hour and a half to to assemble the thing. Okay, but we ordered, like I said, I just wasn't sure if yeah. something came like up they, with that last Honestly, break they ordered it like six or seven months ago because they asked and I'm like, yeah, if, like, if I tell you you can't have it, then you're going to tell me, well, I'm not going to sell it. It's better to be safe than... Yeah, no, any, anything that's for safety, and, and again, if it makes it, it, if you decide not to and something happens, you can kick right. yourself forever. So, yeah. no, no issues doing it, like I said, I just was wondering if it just something came yeah, up. Yeah, no, after that, they know that we're, uh, we're holding, you probably see a whole, or you haven't seen it yet, but spending has just been dark. That all got ordered before too, because we ran down on stock. Yeah, there's stuff we have to have. DPW doesn't have anything, so if we had a leak at night, we wouldn't have anything to fill a hole. So we don't have a choice. Is that normal that they don't have the material there and stuff in, on hand? Or? Yeah, they don't do any digging. So. Hmm. Okay, abatements and refunds. Signed, John? All set, yes, sir. Okay. All right, next item of business. Reorganization of board, discussion and vote. I thought we dealt with that I a while back. I thought that was done. It wasn't, I thought, if it was, it wasn't when I was here. So I oh, didn't so, it's, it so it came back. I, yeah. I didn't know if somebody wanted to like, take over my position. No, no, no. I, ha I wasn't here. No, it wasn't on the agenda, so it couldn't, it couldn't go forward. Yeah. I think I brought it up because it's what we do on the other boards and on Right. Yeah. Yeah, but we but we did that at right. the meetings ago, I thought. It, wasn't, it, wasn't, on the, it, it wasn't, wasn't on the agenda. It wasn't on the agenda. Yeah. So we weren't able to. Okay. So I make the motion that we keep the same board members with either chair. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You guys still oppose. I'm just wondering. Hmm? <laughs> I could have I could have opposed that one easily. <laughs> Somebody else up here. Um, so take that off the agenda for next yep. month, please. And apparently we're not going to have James Hoyt in from Tater and Howard. Okay. Uh, do you know if the letter got sent to him that we were kicking around through Scott Golder? Yeah, I attached the whole thing and I sent it to them. All right. So then I also sent the same thing to David so that he could ask for the extension. I didn't hear back from David. Actually, I didn't hear back from either of them. But, but everything James was asking for at the last meeting, as far as we know, was yeah. Scott. Yep. Okay. I know, I know it was all in process, but I never saw if it actually went, yeah. went through or not. Yeah, I'm going to check. Okay. The next item, uh, this is we have um, come in last time, the use of the meter on a hydrant for 99 Bryant. We told them we cable it to tonight and decided we would discuss it and decide if we want to allow it or not. Uh, I'm not, I'd like to see it, have it available, but I'm not crazy about doing anything off of a hydrant and 
neither am I, just in case of fire protection, in case something happens and they can put the neighborhood in some sort of jeopardy. So. Well, I, I don't like it because they said, oh, well, we'll be taking it off each night. And I'm like, no, yeah. that's you can't do that. Hydrants aren't made to be turned on they, and off. They, they, they meant was the hose would come off each night. But either, but you don't know for yeah. sure what's going to happen. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I'm like, and they did mention it that basically it wasn't a big deal if we right. didn't provide it with them. They were still going to plant right. and still be able to still be able to use it. So, uh, Dylan, uh, I I think I spoke about it that night. I just want to see the water delivered through traditional means. I don't want to start any precedents. So right. there's a lot of things that can go wrong that put us, you know, if if a, if that hose breaks on someone else's property, they're looking at us and. That's just one of the well, factors. So I'm not and, the, and the only thing we could do would have to put in a meter pit, basically. Right. If the owner of the property wanted yeah. it, and that's a. I think that's a discussion they need to have with the owner. All right. Uh, would someone like to? I'll make, make a motion, motion to deny. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Next thing on new business is to go into executive session for the Lincoln Street project. And that be, usually you do um, executive session at the end, so that do we have? Is that something? We, is there something we need to do in executive session with that? Or well, it depends. It, you know, every whatever you speak of, people can see it. Are they coming in tonight, though, or not that I know of? What he said is there's a shortfall, so he's looking in order to continue on. He's looking for that shortfall. I asked Kerry to add it to the agenda under executive session, so we could discuss it. Okay. All right. We'll put it off till the end. Then. I wasn't sure if we got why it got added and if they were coming in or not. So, so we're just waiting for John to take his call. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Okay. All right, move to old business. First item um, that CBA appeal is still going on. We haven't really heard anything back. Um, pilot study, do we have anything new from? I have not heard from them at all, so that would be the next thing that they're going to be looking for funding for, but isn't it? we'd have to borrow. That would take a special town meeting to do. Yeah, correct. I mean, as of right now, everything that's going on over there, we've funded and yep, we've, we've signed met. the contracts for, so. Right. So moving forward, uh, Manly Street, similar, we've got all that paperwork taken care of. I believe to go forward. Yes. Yep. Uh, I guess next meeting maybe we'll be bringing the rest of the paperwork. Might need to get a hold of him and find out. I, I thought he was going to be coming back. Uh, I know he needed that by meeting. June 30th. So. Okay. But I, but again, I didn't think he wanted to wait until the second, till our second meeting. But we're all set, and we know we do. We did confirm that we have the money, and we can spend the money the way we planned. So, we're good. Hey, we the Walnut Street tank. I uh, haven't gotten in there yet. I'm into lead and copper again. Yeah. Plus, um, those boxes that are sitting there that say EPA all over them. That's UCMR five. It, they didn't tell me. Suddenly, they. I guess they arrived Friday. Pull another set of samples. Oh yeah, that's that would be Monday's big ordeal. Um, lead and copper, you have enough? Or are you gonna start knocking the doors to get? No, the so they reduced. So I sent in my list of forty-five plus people, and it worked its way into Boston, and then it came back, and they said, "Oh, well, you only have to take twenty samples." Oh wow! But well, that's nice, but you could have told yeah, me. Yeah, going forward. Yeah. That's right now we're back and reduced, but remember when they do the, when the long-term PFAS comes online, because they have Change no common sense, they could yeah. bump us back into full again. Thanks for going the extra mile. Yeah. yeah. So I sent out 10 bottles, went out today. I solicited 15 people and I heard from 66% of them, so. Ten bottles went up today. They'll come back, and that's half of it. Okay. You know, hopefully we'll get to keep the restricted 
yeah. lower number afterwards. But like you said, the, that change in treatment shouldn't matter. No. When they do the CR Norman, that'll kind of definitely trigger. Yeah, but that's a major change. Right. That's a major change. It's not. It's not a corrosion control. It's, it's everything. It's okay. The water rates. We decided we wanted to start looking at the numbers for the tiers. Is that what we got here? Um, I'm not sure what we have here. We have the usage breakdown. Um, Jerry printed this up information on different usages in town just so we can start wrapping our head around. So the first page is the chart and then behind it is uh, behind the chart are the individual um, rate codes and how we charge the customers. And it gives you a detailed list of the usage. And the, I just pulled the dates from May 1st through the, uh, 2023 through the end of um, December of 2023. Which is a, a full bill and cycle? Two. Two, two, two cycles? Mm -hmm. Can you break out how much of that usage is base to over from the system? Um, probably. Oh, like excess? Yeah, so give, give us a better idea of what, like out of uh, you know, the 8 million to 23 for the residential, how much of that was base and how much of that was excess? Kind of give a better idea of how much we have to put and where we have to play sure. with to start, yeah. start doing the extra tiers. I think that would help. But yeah, I mean, just by the graphs, it's like residential is where almost all of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All of it is. We it don't is have what it's like 80% of it. Yeah. If you could look into that, mm -hmm. we send out a list with a breakdown of who's, how much of it's in excess. And what would be an example of industrial? Like, well, so we don't really have much industrial. We have a it's few like places. United Way. Yeah, it's like United Way, and you know, yeah, there's a warehouse. few buildings. Yeah, there's like ten buildings. There's not a lot of industrial. The new warehouse is coming in. Are they going under industrial or? Well, let's see. I mean, when do you make the changeover? Or business. I mean, what defines commercial versus? So they're not office space, so they're not commercial, mm -hmm. but they're not manufacturing anything either. It, it, does it depend on zoning? They change the, like Lincoln Street, for example, they change the zoning to industrial to make it a warehouse. Yeah, that makes it industrial. So we'll run it industrial. Yeah. Yep. But even that, it's not like it's a lot of water use. No, they're basically anyway. toilets. They're not. Yeah. And I, the last I knew when I was talking with my buddy Mitch there, he, uh, they weren't even putting in a bathroom to the building because they didn't have a tenant. I know, they're not going to get an occupancy because... <laughs> 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 I see his ears perk up. What? We know where we can get a nice $26,700 bathroom though. <laughs> no, no, that's just the plans. It doesn't <laughs> <do that. laughs> yeah, I was going to say, there's no way that like, a certain plumbing inspector no. is going to let anything go in over there. No. It's like, I don't, still don't understand why the building, like the one in Bridgewater, has a for rent or for sale sign on it. Like, they're barely speculating with these things. Which one, the one in 28? Yeah, the one yeah. heading towards the prison. Yeah. No, they're putting them up. Everywhere, tenantless and future older. housing requirements. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Space for a new school up on Lincoln Street. Let's take up yeah. a couple of bays of the there building. You need to get old school in there. Throw it a quick mess. The size of that, I mean, that thing's huge. Yeah. yeah. It didn't look that big looking at the plans. No. 586 Manly is big, and yeah. you know, Lincoln Street is even bigger. I think 586 Manly doesn't sh hit you as well because you're driving by the end. Yeah, yeah, so you don't you really see get how deep this one on Lincoln yeah. Street is just, looks like it goes on forever. 300,000 square feet. Uh, I noticed an email came out about the um, money we were taking in. Do we have 
Yeah, so our commitment shows us making it, but we don't actually, because a lot of people defer their payment to, um, they don't pay it. They let it go to default to their mortgage. So they take the demand fees and the penalties. I don't get it, but, so you don't take in. Plus, when she's looking at it, we hadn't reached the end of the month. A lot of people wait until the last well, I, day. Well, that was one of my questions was going to be, had we even gotten Yeah, I think Terry's thing was like 1.7, but that doesn't show what we take in from. It's just payments on just, water bills. Right. That's all that is. And we have a, a large payment coming. The 586 Manly is trying to pay. Yeah. So they've asked for the bill, and they've asked for our tax numbers. So we shouldn't have an issue. Right. You don't see me. Because I didn't say as long as that gets in in time, yeah. yeah, we shouldn't. In the meantime, you know, holding up spending, we won't do anything until we get to the July one. Yeah. Just weird. I can see sunlight here and it's dark in the window there. Okay. Uh, anything else on the water rates? We'll take a look, see what we can get that better breakdown. We can start talking about another tier. Yeah, James said he was going to bring in some resources too. He was going to bring in what member? He yeah, he yeah. would that day. So he was again, that, again, that's why I could have sworn he was planning on being here this week, but maybe maybe he was figuring the next one. Uh, communications committee. Go on. Uh, when the board of selection were to vote on it last meeting to accept the contract, there was an error in the contract, so they weren't able to do it. I assume they had to do it this Wednesday, and then from there we'll move forward. So nothing, nothing to report. Okay. I thought maybe it had happened because I got a piece of junk mail that was exactly like that kind of thing. <laughs> I'm like, oh, they've instituted it already. That's nice. And then I realized, no, this is a solicitation. Hopefully it's that nice. We just have to get the word. I hope the town's going to do a mailing saying go here or to let people know that this is where you should be heading now. So the website's going to be through the same provider that we currently use. No, so right. it's going to, on the back end for people like Kerry and um, yeah. administrators and stuff, it's going to, it's going to be expanded, um, but it's through the same provider so it should be pretty familiar and then I think they'll be doing some training too as far as um, how to use different features and stuff like that but our website is I think they said 15 years old or 12 years old yeah that's it's old that's why <coughs> you know as you started that so I, I look at other towns and their things and it's just water department at something dot org or dot com or they really want to push it towards gov everybody's surprised why we're still a dot com right and then as far as like, even that message that was going out today for tomorrow, yep. the, the work, the uh, shutdown for the repair, you know, with Brave, we'll be able to send out notifications about that stuff. So right. it's not just whoever's on the hub, yeah. be able to, everyone will know. Right. Or you could select that area and alert that area. Yep. Yeah, that's if we, um, we've had, the last time we tried it, we had the detail, we couldn't get a detail. It's on a bad corner, so we, we can't do it. There is going to be a detail there. Don't I don't. We don't know. When to... Hopefully, there is. I think we ran into last summer. We couldn't get details too because they they go on vacations and they yeah. they having their own manpower issues. You know, as bad as the Vineyard uh, Nantucket ferry, they had to cancel a bunch of the oh yeah ferries they to the Vineyard because one that person called in sick. Like, it was a lot of money. Oh, that's insane. All right, anybody have anything else they would like to bring up before we go into? Yeah. Not here. Wait. So, Manly is pulling up, um, both wells now have, they're pulling up arsenic. We're treating it out, so it's, it's non-detect in the treated. Yeah. I did poke at DEP, you know, because I had to notify them. Um, you know, how, what, what do other towns do to treat it? And they kind of, that's why I was hoping James would be here. They were inferring that the fluorozoar is what's treating up the arsenic. I mean, it's like, I, I, you know, I thought, they, I thought 
carbon used to be used for it. Right. Because it adsorbs it on. So the floor absorbent probably do something similar because that's the same thing, it's an adsorbent. Yeah, they're looking, they're trying to wonder if the stack like fluorosome stacks up PFAS until it's they have a breakthrough, so they're wondering if the arsenic stacks up too, could you have something fluff off and come through? So we're probably going to get enhanced well, sampling around that. But right now, we're, we're detecting it coming in and we're not yeah. detecting it going out. Right. It's, How high? And so it's, it's 0 0.0122 and the MCL is 0 0.010. So we're just over. Like o, o, two, 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 yeah, over. over. It's been consistent or is it just kind of... It so far it's been consistent. Well, the driveway well now has, it is showing it where it didn't on the first rounds. So the river well seems to be holding where it was. Okay. Yeah, so I don't think those things like the floors are supposed to slough off. It's usually it holds the stuff on until right. it can't hold anymore. It yeah. Breaks through. We'll see. But right now, there's nothing. No arsenic is coming out of the plant. No. That may so everything's being water. treated, and the PFAS is. I'm asking the questions because it's a PN. I don't want to have to send it out. Yeah. Well, anybody watching knows about it. Yeah. Anyway, now. So. Right. Do they? Um, do they seem concerned about it, or is it some? I know it's naturally occurring. But well, they don't seem concerned, but I'm concerned because that's some, it's a public notification I don't right. want to have to send. So if I can be ahead of it or figure out sure. why we're removing it and how. So, as long as it's not getting out from the plant. Right. You know, these people, you have to worry about it for the regulatory stuff, but the people drinking the water don't have to worry about right. it. I mean, it's, it's an apple seed, like there's other ways you get it, yeah. it's not just... You know, like everything else, it's all around you, some, some way or the other. Right. Um, and we haven't had any of that down at these walls. No. How often do we sample for that? So we put, we're on reduced sampling, so it's only because it got caught in the secondary as part of the pilot study for Manly. It's picked up a, as a secondary contaminant and that's how they found it. So when would be the next time we'd be sampling for it? Um, wait, well, every time we do a secondary, we sample. So next, yeah. it's monthly right now. Monthly now. Maybe with a little luck, maybe it'll go down. Is it happening? Or? I've never, no. Did they, they test them more like a lower level now maybe than they were before? Not that, I don't think they've changed any of the testing. Okay. Right. I mean, I mean, you can't do anything about the raw water. I mean, we, no. we, we get what we get right. coming into the wells. It's yep. not like we can really do anything about it as long as we get it out. When do you notify people when it deploys? After it right. violate, and that's a running quarterly average, so it wouldn't. It would be quarterly, so it wouldn't. It on the incoming one, regardless, obviously, it's not. On the quarterly. incoming, I don't. You don't have it. Only if it goes on the outlet. Right. Okay. Anything else to bring up to make our night? No, that's about it. Uh, we'll make a motion to enter into executive session, not to burn, turn into open session for the purposes of discussing the Lincoln Street project. I'll second. Me. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.